Hey these smart monkeys, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, this is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays, so if you want to know when I am posting videos, please subscribe and yeah, turn on the notification button um, so that you can know when I actually post new videos. Um, yeah, and I also have a revision class coming up in May just before the June exam and it's a class where I will be teaching you how to answer exam questions, how to give you some tips and tricks on best ways to make sure that you don't lose any marks and then just looking through and covering questions that count the most marks. Um, yeah and then at the end I will give you some time to ask me any questions. Right, so if you're interested in that, please email me to mathsmonkeyhelp at gmail.com and I'll send you all the information on how you can apply and join uh, those classes. I only have a limited amount of places in those uh, place, places, place, places, places in those in those classes. So if you're interested, send me an email as soon as you can. Um, yeah, also if the lighting in this video looks a bit weird, you know, the girl is struggling to make videos during load shedding during the day. Um, so I have to make a plan. And so I've got this bright light, which I'm still trying to figure out, you know, the settings and stuff too. So while I do that, please just bear with me. Alrighty. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at exchange rates. It's going to be a quick one. And I'm just going to explain to you sort of what it means, what exchange rates actually looks at and refers to. And how to sort of do the calculations, um, you know, no matter what they ask, that you actually, I'm teaching you a method that would work. And then also just looking at some sort of exam type questions on how you can apply. Because exchange rate is fairly simple and the calculations we use is fairly easy. Um, but when it, it's, it's how they ask it to you in an exam or in a test situation that sort of throws most students off. So at the end of the video, I'll show how we will take sort of the simple method that I teach you and how you can apply it to no matter what they actually ask you. All right, so that was a long intro. Let's jump into the video. <laughs> Okay, so lesson seven, exchange rates. So before I start, let's quickly just look at what the definition of an exchange rate is. So exchange rates looks at exchanging one currency for another. So in every country, they have a currency at which they do their financial transactions with. So in South Africa, we use the South African rand. In America, they will use the American dollar and so forth. So ideally, exchanging, if you take your currency and you take your money and you go over to America, obviously you're not able to make purchases with a South African rand in the US because that's not the currency that they use. So exchange rates means I'm exchanging my rand, buying dollars if I need to go to America and then actually being able to use those dollars then in that specific country where that currency is relevant. Okay, so that's what exchange rates actually is. Now, um, I'm going to teach you a method which I call the LVN method. So if you've watched any of my videos before, you will, this would be, yeah, this would be very familiar to you. Um, but it's one method that I find you'll see comes up in all of my videos. Uh, well, most of them. And uh, it's really just a method that I find it's easy to use and works in every scenario. So let me show you that method. So let's say we are interested, or at this moment, the exchange rate between the American dollar and the South African rand is $1 for 18 rand 30 cents. So what this means is, in order for me to buy one unit of their currency, it's going to cost me 18 rand 3 cents in my currency. Okay, so... Let's say we were interested in finding out how much rand would you get for $140, okay? So in other words, somebody comes from America and they have $140 and they want to exchange that for South, Af South African rand, how much will they actually be able to get for that? 
And the way that you would do this method is whenever you're doing an exchange rate question, always start with the exchange rate that is given in the question. Right? So this is $1 is equal to 18 uh, rand and 3 cents. Then um, the, question, the, the unit or the total in the question, look at that specific unit. So in this question, they want us to convert $140. So you're going to place that $140 underneath the one which is also in dollars okay then the method says you now have three values so you're always going to work anti-clockwise divide first and then multiply so that means i'm going to take 18.03 divided by one multiply by 140 and that will give us 2524 and 20 cents so what, is, what does this mean? <clears throat> that means if someone from America comes over to South Africa with $140, it is equivalent and they will receive 2524 and 20 cents. Okay, so that's how you do the method. So it's always anti-clockwise, divide first and then multiply. And that's this whole process, this whole um, calculation or the way of doing it is how, what I call the LDN method. So if you look in any of my future videos and you see that, this is what I'm referring to. Okay, so let's look at the six, second scenario. So it says, how much dollar would you get for 15,000 Rand? Okay, so again, you will start with the exchange rate, but now this 15,000 Rand you're going to place under the Rand. I now have three values, and my method says, anti-clockwise, divide first, then times. You will always start at the value that's furthest on the right um, so that you can actually work um, anti-clockwise. So I'm actually going to start in this calculation with a 15. So I'm going to say div um, anti-clockwise, divide first, then multiply. So it's 15,000 divided by 18 rand and 3 cents, and you will get $1. Right, um, sorry. <laughs> 15,000 rand divided by 18.03 times $1, and then you will end up getting $831.95. Okay, so this is essentially how you would just do any basic um, exchange rate. Okay, you start with the exchange rate that's given. You, underneath the same unit that is given in the question, you will place that value, and then you will work anti-clockwise, dividing first, then times. All right, and that will give you your answer. Please note, if you are using this method in an exam, always make sure that you are emphasizing to the marker what your actual answer is. So in this case, you'll see that my answers are in yellow because essentially a teacher or someone who's marking this who doesn't know this method is just going to see four values. Okay, so be sure that you mark clearly what your answer actually is. So if we look at this example now, okay, so this example says one euro is equal to 19 rand 74 cents and one dollar is equal to 18 rand 3 cents. How much dollar would you get for one euro? Right? So, if you notice in this question, obviously we have three currencies. We've got Euro, Dollar, and Rand. Okay? Um, but what the question is asking is, how do we convert this to... How do we find the relationship between the Dollar and the Euro? And what we're going to do is, we're going to equate both of our exchange rates to equal to the same Rand unit. Okay? And we're going to choose one rand. And I'm going to show you in a moment why. So just watch this. So in the first one, we're going to look at, we use the exchange rate for the euro. We're going to, we want to find out how much is the euro for one rand. We do the LVN method, and it will give us 0 0.05, Right, so that's how much euro we'd get for one rand. Now we do the same for the dollar. One dollar is equal to 18 rand 0.03. I want to find out what does it equate to 1 Rand. I do the LVN method, and that gives us 0 0.055463117 dollar. Now, why did we do this? We equated both of these currencies to 1 Rand. And the reason we did that is if that amount of euro, if this amount of euro is equal to 1 Rand, and this amount of dollars equal to 1 Rand, then surely these, if both of them equal to 1 Rand, then they are essentially equal to each other. Okay? Because both of them are equal to 1 Rand. So both of these values will then be equal to each other. 
And now we can actually answer the question where they ask, so how much dollar would you get for one euro? And here you will place the one euro then among, underneath the euro. LVN method, divide, multiply, and one euro costs 1.09 dollars. Okay, so that's just sort of a little bit of a, 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 a more sort of a higher level question where you see it's the same calculations, but you just have to know how to equate them to the same, so that you can actually take three currencies and be able to move, maneuver between them, okay? Um, another thing I want to mention here is it's important for you to note that if it costs more of one of, of a currency for one of another currency, then that means the currency that has the one is stronger okay so do you see here that in both of these cases for that the euro is stronger than the rand and the dollar is stronger than the rand because i need more than one of my units to get one of their unit okay so in both of these cases the rand is weaker but if we looked at this answer now, when I were to ask you, okay, so between the euro and the dollar, looking at our answer, which would you think is the stronger currency? In this case, the stronger currency is the euro, because you need more than one of the dollar to get only one of the euro. So that means you need more of the dollar, so that means that the dollar is weaker. Okay, so it's just important for you to take note that. That some, because sometimes students think because the value is higher, that the currency is stronger. But if the value is higher, then it means you actually need more of that currency in order to get another currency. Okay, so that's just a little side note for you. Now let's look at another example. And this is sort of more, so I'm giving you a scenario after I've shown you sort of how to do these calculations. So it says, Melissa and three of her friends decide to plan a trip to Thailand. They will stay for two weeks. The cost of accommodation is 1,038 tabat. Okay, so that's the currency in Thailand for four people per night. So this is 1,038 is what they're going to pay for four people per night. Calculate in Rand the total cost per person for their accommodation in Thailand. The exchange rate is 1 rand is to 2.09 tabat. Okay, so let's read the question again. It says calculate in rand the total cost per person. Okay, so we need to maneuver this calculation so that it only shows what it's going to cost for one person. So in this question you see here they give us four people. This is the cost for four people for one night. So in order to calculate what it is for one person for one night, we take the cost and divide it by four. And that will give us 259.15 tabat. Okay, so this is for one night now for one person. If they choose to say for two weeks, that means they're staying for 14 days. Right, so cost per person for two weeks will be that cost multiplied by 14, which is the two weeks, and that will give you 3,633 tabat. Right? So again, this is now for one person. This is per night. This is for 14 nights, and this is the total. And now you want to go, okay, cost per person in rand for two weeks would then be the exchange rate that is given, what we calculated it is in the butt for two weeks for one person. And we then do the LVN method. And it will cost each person 1,738.27 for the entire two weeks. Okay. Now be careful here, um, grade 12, because the question papers might specify. Because some people would argue that two weeks is technically... 13 nights, okay, and not necessarily 14 nights, because the 14th night you will leave. 
Now that you will actually, the, the question paper will give you specifics on days and nights per se. Okay, so if this is two weeks, we're going to work on 14 days, right? And which technically would, uh, could be argued that it could also be 13 nights. Um, but we just assume that this place is including um, all 14 nights, okay? So I'm just mentioning this so that you can actually make sure that you read this carefully in a question paper, okay? Right, last example. So Melissa and her friends go out to dinner in Thailand and the total cost of the bill is 4180 They give the waiter a 20% tip. If each person contributed the same amount towards the tip, calculate in rand the tip each person paid. Okay, so first let's calculate what the tip was. Right, so the tip is 20% of the total. So the tip is 20%, which is 20 over 100 times 4180, and that will give us 836. Right, so this is the total of the tip. Now, each person plays equally towards the tip, so you will take that value and divide it by 4. And that will give you 209. Right? Then, you'll say, okay, but then the tip per person in rand, right, would then be the exchange rate, right? And um, 1 rand is 2.09, as in the previous question. And then, if they pay 209, Divide, multiply, and each person then paid 100 rand towards the tip. Okay, so I hope that sort of helped you clarify how to do exchange rates. All right, thank you for watching. All right, so that's that video on exchange rates. Um, I hope you liked it, and I hope it helped you understand this topic a lot better. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And, you know, add in the comment section if there is something you still don't understand or something you want me to elaborate on. And I will try my best to sort of help you and answer your questions. And, um, yeah, then I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>